Hello, everybody. Uh, this is the first official class of um, Anthropology 37. Uh, my name is Professor Raymond Fong. Make sure you're in the right class. Uh, this is less of a problem with the internet because you have to click something that makes sure you're in the right class. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Uh, so this this week we only have two lectures. Um, the way I run this class is pretty pretty straightforward. Uh, there are going to be about four lectures a week and then you're just going to watch those four answer questions sometimes do a writing assignment i'll get into that later uh but everything will be posted on sundays and it will most like and it will be due on fridays all right uh, obviously this week's a little bit different just because it's you know it's the first week uh and our week start on thursday odd enough um so uh, let's get started Intro to Anthro 37. This is the syllabus. I would uh, not skip this. I have a lot of people asking about the grade all the time, and in my head, I'm always thinking to myself, why didn't they just put the syllabus? So um, let's get some easy stuff out of the way first. Instructor Raymond Fong, that's me. Uh, if you have uh, any concerns, just shoot me an email, raymond.fong at kbcc.cuny.edu. I'm pretty quick to respond, so you should be pretty good there. Um, office hours. Uh, it's, a, it's through Blackboard Collaborate, especially for your class. So if you need to meet, just let this shoot me an email and we can make an appointment. It's no problem. Um, if you notice, my phone number is not here and that is on purpose. I do not want you to call me. Please do not call me. Just shoot me an email and we can set up an appointment on um, Blackboard Collaborate. Uh, and uh, if we need to, we can use Zoom or whatever. But, you know, please don't call me. For some reason, my number is on the Internet. Don't call me. Um, course description. So this course is anthropo Intro to Anthropology. It's a comparative study of the human condition in various societies and its application in solving practical problems. Topics include human evolution, the meaning of our physical diversity, communication, miscommunication, past and present, cultural diversity. All right. So um, you can read these eight on your own. Uh, but really, th there's a few objectives that I want to teach you. Um, in terms of anthropology. One, I want you to know what anthropology is. Uh, two, I want you to be able to identify the four major fields of anthropology. So while I don't need you to be an expert in the field, I want you, if you were to hear something in the news, or if someone that you know is like, hey, I'm an anthropologist and I study this, this, and that, you can be like, oh, I know what type of anthropologist you are. You're this type of anthropologist, okay? And number three, I just want you guys to have a positive uh, impression of anthropology because I'm most of you most of the students I teach have no idea what anthropology is and so I want to have a positive impression to give you guys and in the future if you have friends or kids or whoever that have an effort that has an opportunity to take anthropology you'll be like oh yeah that was a sick class okay great all right, moving on. Accessibility statement. The Accessibility Services serves as a liaison and resource to KCC community regarding disability issues, promotes equal access to all KCC programs and activities, and makes every po reasonable effort to provide appropriate accommodation and assistance to students with disabilities. Your instructor will make the accommodations you need once you provide documentation from the Accessibility Office. Okay, please contact AAS for assistance. So this is pretty uh, straightforward. Um, if you have any any uh, uh, accessibility issues, just shoot me an email or shoot an email to the office, and then they can email me, and then we'll get it sorted out. Uh, for my class, it's pretty straightforward. It usually results in more test time or more homework time. Either way, I can accommodate no problem. Okay. Uh, conduct guidelines. This doesn't really apply to you because it's an online class. However, um, plagiarism and cheating are grounds for immediately failing this course. If you need clarity about what plagiarism is, I will provide you the guidelines. We're going to go over that in a second. Um, yeah, other than that, this is pretty straightforward. Um, so let's talk about plagiarism. The work in this class must be original work and ideas of the student. Any assignment or part of the assignment that is copied from other sources will be grounds for failing the course. This includes both web-based and student-based sources. Likewise, cheating on an exam is an automatic failure of the exam and course. The professor will refer the student to work to the dean's office. So look, guys, um, I don't know if you heard about me, but this class is not super difficult. Uh, that being said, though, I need you to learn something. The stuff I'm teaching you is stuff I want you to learn. So anything that you do will have to do with the stuff that we have to do in class anyway. So try your best not to fall behind. In addition, I don't care what Wikipedia says. I really don't care. 
I, I, I know those answers like the back of my, my hand. What I want you to do is I want you to only pull information from our class. Okay. And I do this purposely because if I don't do this, people will just be Googling stuff and like gets all these random answers. Okay. When you do your work, there's two things. One, I need you to show that you've been paying attention to the lectures or to the, to the text. And number two, I need you to show that you understand what we're talking about. So there's two things, right? One is summarizing essentially what we're going over in class. And the other thing is understanding, showing that you understand and how to apply uh, these things to other topics, right? Now, when you pull stuff from, from Wikipedia, you know, I, I don't know if you know this, but, you know, the field is massive, right? You're talking about anthropology, this thing is massive. We're talking about actually any field is massive. Teachers know when you're, when you're pulling stuff from Wikipedia, so please don't, okay? Just pull stuff from the PowerPoints, pull stuff from the lectures. That's all you need, okay? Now, the only materials you need for this class is Blackboard Access. You have to know how to use Blackboard. If you have, if you do not know how to use Blackboard in this class, you need to get out because, because Blackboard is essential. Your homework is going to be on Blackboard. The lecture is going to be on Blackboard. The tests are going to be on Blackboard. The quiz is going to be on Blackboard. Everything's going to be on Blackboard. All right. So please, please, please make sure you know use Blackboard. If you have any questions, if you need help, reach out to me and we can get it done. If you wait until the last minute to ask for help, that's when it's going to be like, well, you know, sucks to suck. But if you ask me ahead of time, it is no problem. Okay. Now, Required texts, there are none. Um, I will be providing everything. So just make sure you keep up with that uh, through Blackboard, of course. Now, let's talk about what everyone wants to know about. Exams, reflections, and quizzes, OK? So real quickly, to make this more clear, um, there are going to be, oh, actually, no, let's talk about exams first. So there's only going to be two exams. One is a midterm, and the other one's a final, OK? These tests will contain multiple choice questions followed by short answer questions. All right, uh, so basically the midterm is going to be worth 20% of your grade and the final is going to be worth 25%. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, the midterm is going to have uh, 20 multiple choice questions and four short answer questions. And the final is going to have 40 uh, multiple choice questions and five short answer questions. Okay. Um, so those are the two exams that we have, right? That's worth 45% of your grade though. Okay. Um, now, let's talk about reflections. So to make this more clear, um, there are four fields of anthropology that we're going over, right? Uh, archaeology, social cultural, uh, archae uh, archaeology, oh, no, sorry, archaeology, social cultural, uh, linguistic, and bio bio biological anthropology. So those are four, right? There are five reflections in this class. The first reflection, which is going to be due um, Friday, okay, night is just going to be a real quick thing. Uh, it should take you like less than 10 minutes, but I want everyone to get familiar with submitting homework, right? So, and then everyone's going to be starting off with the, with the, with a good rhythm uh, this semester, but we're going to have five reflections total. So the first one's due this upcoming Friday. And then after that, we're going to basically do one topic of reflections due, another topic of reflections due, another topic of reflections due, another topic of reflections due, that's the end of the semester already. Right. So if you really think about it, we we're going to go four lectures or so, or we're going to go like, you know, one whole section of anthropology and then reflection is due. One whole section of reflection is due. Midterm, one whole section, reflection, one whole section, reflection, final or review and then final. Right. Regardless, that's kind of the flow that we have. OK, so there's only five homework assignments in terms of yeah, only five homework assignments. OK, now. I need to emphasize each one of these assignments are basically worth 10% of your grade, which means that if you're getting an A minus in my class at 90% and you don't do a homework assignment, it's going to bump you down to a B minus. Okay. So please keep that in mind when you are, when, when you're doing this homework, right? Um, I don't, I don't, I, I I'm going to treat you guys as adults, right? Um, I'm not trying to slam you with homework. I really like whether you want to when, whether you want to learn in this class is up to you. But in terms of the work, I'm I'm not trying to slam you with work. Right? I know people got a lot of things going on in their lives. I don't want to slam work. That being said, though, because I don't slam you with work, every one of these reflections, every one of these writing assignments are going to be worth a lot of your grade. Okay, so please, please, please get these done. 
All right, so there will be a total of five reflection pieces. The reflection pieces, two to five, will be single space, one page, 600 words. Writing assignment, that will be half summary, half analysis. So it doesn't have to be single space, it will be double space, whatever. Prompts will be provided, and they will be part of a class discussion. Each homework assignment must be submitted online through Blackboard. And missing or late assignments will receive a deduction. Each homework assignment will be worth eight points. Late papers will be accepted with a 10% deduction and a 5% deduction each day following. So what this basically means is that each of these reflections are 600 words each. Um, and they are going to be due, uh, you know, at the end of a section, so to speak. Um, we're going to turn them online on Blackboard, obviously. But now let's talk about the late policy, right? So the late policy is if it's due on Friday and you're late on Saturday, I take off 10. Okay. Um, so that means Saturday is worth, you know, 90%. Sunday. That's why I start taking at five. It's worth 85. Monday, 80. Tuesday, 75. So on and so forth. Okay. Now, so and again, reflection is very important. Okay. Was, this is our, we've already gone over 85% of your grade. Okay. Now, the last thing, okay, quizzes. So quizzes to me, they kind of take the place of like, really the purpose of them is to make sure you're paying attention to the lecture. That's it. Now, are you going to get everything in the lecture? No, but I'm not asking you super deep questions. I'm going to be asking you very general questions. And if you don't, if you can't answer the, the quiz question correctly, it means you haven't been paying attention. So just just try your best to do it. OK, now um, for the quizzes, there's going to be like a couple questions uh, every week or so. And that'll total out to be like 20, 25 or so. And basically, as long as you get 15 correct, you're going to be getting a full credit. OK, so quizzes are 15 points or 15 percent um, quiz will be completed through the through Blackboard. Um, there will be a total of 20 to 30 quiz questions and every quiz question is worth one point. In other words, once you reach 15 correct quiz questions, you will receive still receive 15 out of 15, which is full credit. OK, so this one's real fun because late quizzes are not not are not accepted. So every week on a Friday night, they're going to be due. Um, and again, there's only like two two questions um, and they're multiple choice. Right. And you can do them as often as you want. I don't care. But once it goes past Friday night, that's it. There, there, there's there's no making it up. OK, so make sure to get these done. Um, if you have any questions about this part of it, I, I think it's pretty clear. But I understand if you have questions, um, you know, just shoot me an email and I'm more than happy to answer it. But again, it's, it's not meant to be super difficult. Like you'll see on these quizzes like I'm not trying to like trick you. I just want I just want you to be listening to the lectures. Because if you think about what we're doing online, there's no way of me really checking what you're doing, right? And while I understand uh, people work at their own pace, as a student, you also need to understand I'm concerned that you'll fall so far behind that you don't know what's going on, okay? So please uh, take the time to listen to the lectures, and you should be fine with the quizzes, okay? Every Friday, 11.59 p.m., they're due, okay? All right, good. So let's move on to the next thing. This is the tentative schedule. Okay, again, it's tentative. I worked it out right now. Sometimes things happen; they don't work out this clearly, but I think we'll be okay. Okay, so intro and syllabus, right? And the windows on humanity, chapter one. We're gonna go. I'm gonna go over that in the next lecture. Uh, then a a uh, oh, why does it say discussion? Replace the. I'm, I'm, I will fix it for you. But it's supposed to be quiz, and then reflection one. It doesn't matter. The quiz is due this Friday, and the reflection is due this Friday. I realize you're like, oh my God, Professor Fall, we have a day to do this. Yes, you'll have a day to do this. Trust me, it's going to take you like 20 minutes, maybe tops. Okay. Um, archaeology, what does it mean to be human? I'm thinking about maybe switching this up with social culture anthropology. We'll see. Oh, is this the wrong one? This is the wrong one. That's why. It's okay. It's still the same idea. So what we're going to do, because this is this is the in-person class thing, it's a little messy, but it's okay. Don't worry about it. Um, we're going to do a topic a reflection is due a topic a reflection is due and then the midterm another topic the reflection is due a topic reflection is due and then it's being the final okay and on top of that we're gonna have a quiz every week all right so there's really nothing too confusing about this don't worry I'll, I'll redo it and I'll and I'll uh, I'll resubmit so that it's all correct and stuff but I'm why is this all messed up but Anyways, so we'll uh, we'll that this is just this again is a tentative schedule, but generally you should know four lectures, a reflection and a quiz to do, four lectures, reflections, quizzes due, midterm, four lectures, 
reflection quizzes do, four lesson reflection quizzes do, maybe review, extra credit, final. Pretty straight, straightforward. Okay. Now let's talk about real quickly. Um, let's talk about real quickly how to navigate the course. Um, how do I do this? Let's see. I just want to share my screen. Share. Yeah, here we go. Okay. All right. So let me let me go to a different class. Okay. So you see, I'm in. I'm in. Let's say, let's go to my my spring classes. Okay. So I'm going to student mode. Okay. So can you see me? Yes. All right. Great. So we're in student mode now. Okay. So the way I do it. Okay. Is like you see the little tabs over here. That's where everything is, right? So this is the, their class. See, they have all the the lecture, or they have the the lectures right here. They have the um, what's it called, the syllabus, right? They have the quiz. They have reflection right here. So in order to do a reflection, you click it, right? You create submission. Blah 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 blah, or you upload a file, which I personally prefer, but it's up to you. And you can attach, you know, like whatever, uh, whatever, right? Okay. And then you submit. Now, the little, the little, uh, the little, uh, little thing uh, is, is it's not just doing it right now, but um, you, uh, there's, there's another uh, a screen that you have to press OK on. OK, so just keep that in mind. All right. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. So yeah, so make sure you get, hit the tabs. Make sure you look through the folders, and you'll be good to go. Um, now, let's talk about real quickly how to succeed in this class. Uh, there's really nothing too complicated about this class. Keep up with the work. You'll be good to go. Um, there are four lectures every week. I realize that they're not the most exciting lectures, probably. Put them in your head. Just listen to them. A few times, or at least once, but I, I would say if you're if you're not really paying attention, just listen to them a couple times. You can put it on your phone and listen to it, whatever, right? So um, that's how I would do it. Make sure not to miss reflections, because again, each reflection, because there's so few of them, is worth like 10% of your grade. Um, but other than that, it should be pretty straightforward. Okay. Uh, please make sure to take uh, information from the class, specifically from the PowerPoints and the lecture, um, and then that you'll also be golden that way. All right. Um, that's pretty much it. All right, so this is your first lecture. Uh, in the next lecture, we're going to go over uh, ba some basic stuff of what anthropology is. Um, and if you have any questions, just shoot me an email at raymond.fong at kbcc.cuny.edu.